Hi, this is Gordon Young with Maximum PC. We are bringing you more coverage of Silverstone's cases that you will be seeing at CES. This is, of course, pre-CES coverage. In front of you, you see the brand new GD07 and the new GD08 case. These cases are made for people who like lots of computing power in front of their TV. Um, they're internally, they're very similar, but Tony from Silverstone is going to walk us through some of the cool features on this case. This one's actually pretty cool to me. I like this really clean look on it. Also, you can lock it up so your kids can't get in here. But the other thing that's really cool are some secrets on the button and the uh, LED Tony's going to show us. Okay. So um, with this uh, front door, um, there's actually a sort of a, this mechanism behind it that allows you to lock the power button on the front. So once I do that, I cannot press on it anymore. Okay. And you can also see there's uh, two little circular, uh, I guess, a light guide here that transfers the light so you can see in the front. And there's actually an adjuster on the bottom that allows you to adjust the brightness of the LED. Oh. Okay, and you can also see from the bottom, we've included uh, two uh, fan filters here for the two 120 millimeter fans. Okay. The bottom. Now, of course, this case holds a lot of hardware, right? This is not a this is not a micro ATX case. This actually yeah. holds It'll quite hold a bit more. even up to an extended ATX motherboard. Angle up here. And you use the same drive configuration uh, that uh, lets you that cuts away half the cage right here, right? So this will allow you to install graphics card that are longer than I guess uh, 12 inches uh, without sacrificing too many uh, hard drive uh, spaces. Okay. What are um, what are these handles on top for? Well, if you imagine if, if you install up to eight hard drive here with two uh, maybe removable hard drive on the side, this will get pretty heavy. So we include a two steel handle bar that you can that you, that'll help you uh, pull the hard drive cage out of the case. Okay, so you can actually put up to eight. And then I noticed actually, I, I forgot to show the viewer something. <clears throat> these slots, can you put an optical drive in there? What are those for? Sure. Yeah, these are standard size uh, five and a quarter inch drive base. So four of these on the front, uh, in addition to seven hard drive inside, is actually quite okay. a lot of uh, storage space. And of course, people are not going to be mounting optical drives in these, yeah, right? Yeah, they They're could mount uh, removable uh, hard drive racks here. So it really um, makes a very good uh, security system too. Okay. And then also I'm noticing this really crazy mesh pattern that you have on the mm -hmm. side of the case. Is there a reason why it uh, has that shape? Yeah, we spent um, many hours testing different patterns of uh, fan grill. And this shape gave us the best uh, compromise in terms of airflow and low noise. Okay. And then also I notice you guys have internal USB 3 headers. Are you giving away the uh, USB 2 adapters for people who don't have USB 3 on their motherboard? Yeah, they're, they're included in the accessories. Okay, so they are included. I, I noticed a competitor of yours was saying that they were very happy that they were giving away free. How long have you guys been giving yours away for free? Uh, since the end of 2009. Okay. I mean 2010, sorry. Cool. <laughs> With the ML03 micro ATX case. And of course, I guess the other big change in this case is you've added a lot more fans inside. The original didn't have as many fans. Yeah, the original uh, case, uh, the last full, uh, fully redesigned uh, ATX HTPC case that we had only had two 80 millimeter fan in the back and uh, two slots for 92 millimeter fan in the front. So this is a very big upgrade uh, with you know up to four 120 millimeter fan for this model and up to five 120 millimeter fan for this one. Okay. What are the, what are the price points on these two models going to be? Uh, we're expecting these these two to cost around 130 uh, when they debut. Okay. Uh, maybe in the end of Q1. Cool. All right. Well, everybody, uh, check MaximumPC.com for more Silverstone case coverage from pre-CES. This is Gordon Ong. Talk to you later.